Hi hello friends, welcome to another video where we look through some of my thrift store finds. For me, that usually means that these finds have come from the Goodwill bins, uh, or the Goodwill Clearance Center, whatever you call it, um, and this is no different. Last time I was there, I found a very large amount of vintage Barbie clothes. Um, I think that they span decades from maybe like the 50s uh, to modern times and some of them were so good I wanted to show them to you. Um, I've picked out my favorite ones because there were just so many. I, I can't show you all of them, we just don't have time for that. Um, I'm not sure if some of them are handmade or not, but if somebody was hand making some of these, then they are really amazing at making tiny clothes. Um, you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, so the first one is this tiny pair of bell bottoms. Now, this is like a quilted material and very bright. None of these are in perfect or pristine condition. They're going to have uh, condition issues and they were obviously played with and used. Um, but how amazing are these? Now, these are too small for Barbie. This waist is minuscule. This is more like a Dawn size, I want to say, but I don't think Dawn's legs are this long, so I have no idea. Um, but when I sell these, I'm going to try to group them in decades and size, so we'll see how that goes. But, I mean, how thrilling to find, <laughs> like, the tiniest little pair of bell bottoms. And here's another. Look at these. So detailed. Pockets. Buttons. Tiny bell bottoms. This next item, I know people who would wear this wrap skirt right this very minute. Um, this is an actual Barbie item. I was able to find this while I was doing a little bit of research. I think this is from the 70s, and it is a gorgeous wrap skirt for Barbie. Now, I only found one of these, one glove, but look at how detailed that is. Like, the level of detail is just remarkable, beautiful. Now, this is one of the things that may be handmade. I'm really not sure. But this is a pair of Ken pants. They do have a little staining on them. Um, but these have a zipper, a metal zipper. It's YKK. It is a real zipper. Um... I've just never seen anything, I've never seen Ken pants with a real zipper. Now I think these next two items go together in an outfit. This looks very 1960s to me. This is a jacket, very Jackie O, got some faux fur collar. This is actual linen, um, little buttons looks like it's the top to a suit. Uh, maybe there's a skirt to go with it. But look at this hat. Dare I say bonnet. Made from the same fabric. And it has this train, which has a little tiny holes in it. But gorgeous. Gorgeous. This is like a little smock shirt. Tiny wee buttons has a snap, and these pockets, real. Just more than I can say for uh, regular women's clothing at this point in the game. We all want pockets, take note. Okay, this is another of the items I think might be handmade, but this is like a little mini dress, and it has sequins. And up the back are eyelets, eyelet hooks, metal, precise, <laughs> like this is darted, like if somebody is making these tiny clothes, they're making them exactly like actual human clothes. This is my favorite item. When I was finding these in the, in the bins, like they weren't all in one area. 
And so I was like following a little breadcrumb trail of doll clothes and each thing I found was like more exciting than the next. I think this is my favorite. This is an actual Mattel Barbie piece and it is the babysitter apron, real pockets again, it has little kids names on it and it does have the Barbie Mattel tag on the back. But I mean, ugh, the graphics on that, it's just so cute, so good. Okay. This might also be handmade, I don't know. It is a gorgeous wedding dress. And it has some lace here. But it has tiny little seed bead buttons up the back. Now they're not actual buttons there's a snap, you know, but the detail is just incredible and it has layers of skirt, right? This is just how an actual dress is made. It has tulle under there and it just feels glorious in your hand. It's not silk, but it is something that's very beautiful and lovely. And to go with that, we have our choice of headpieces. Um, First, we have just the regular veil, but it has a beaded tiara situation, headband. Two layers of tulle. And then this bonnet, look at that, beautiful. It has a wire in here so you can fit it right to the head. I just can't with the details. They're just so beautiful. Okay, the next item I'm pretty sure is handmade, but it's alarmingly good. This is a cable knit sweater. Look at the frickin' detail on this. It has a rolled collar, and I think it's about the size for Ken, but Barbie would be snug in this for winter. She would love it. I just can't even... It's like so precisely made and everything is so tiny. It's just glorious. And here's another one. This one is missing a button, but this is a cardigan and the buttons work. So these tiny buttons have tiny button holes and it's an actual cardigan. Just beautiful craftsmanship. Brava to whoever was making these things. This, I believe, is um, from Donnie and Marie. This is Marie's dress. Um, there was a set of Osmond dolls, I believe. Um, super fun. The colors on this are just stunningly beautiful. And then I found this. And I was like, okay, this must go to like some other weird doll or something. No, it is in fact Barbie. It is a royal cape. Let's see, there's little black details on the cape. And it is for a like Miss America Barbie. Now look at this adorable thing. Little nighty or some such. So cute. Just has one single tie in the back. It's like a trapeze style. And then this, I don't know if it's Barbie, handmade, can't tell, don't know. But it's so beautiful and it's a set. So there's this part, which I think is meant to be like a nightgown. I think this is like a Pinoir set. Um, and then there's the coat to go over it. Look at that. Long, flowing, exactly what Barbie wants to be wearing in this summer heat. Just beautiful. Beautiful craftsmanship. Doesn't have a tag. Might be handmade. I can't tell. Okay. So that's all the Barbie stuff that I wanted to show you, but you can kind of see back here, 
on my shelf that I'm like separating them all out. There's just tons of them. And so those will probably be on sale in my stores maybe in about a month or three weeks. Um, we'll see how fast I, I am at listing, but there's just some amazing things. And it just made me so happy to be going through the bins and being like, ooh, piece of candy, ooh, piece of candy. Um, here's a couple more things that I picked up at the same time. This is a wooden sort of sculpture. Um, all of these pieces are 3D. And this is from Island Craft Celtic Carvings. And it's just like really nicely made. Um, this I thought was extremely fun. Let's see if I can get it. Oh, here we go. This is a little tie holder. It has a hanging part up here. It's double sided, so it looks cute either way. And each of these things can hold two ties. And you can just organize your ties with a cute little holder. I'm a sucker for stuff like that. Especially if it like actually works well, but also is adorable form and function. Love that. Okay, this is made in Hong Kong and it is a gigantic squeak toy. Um, it actually squeaks. I'm not going to do that because I have a dog and he will go nuts if he hears that noise. And then if you have a dog and you're watching this at home, he'll, your dog will go nuts when he hears that noise. So we're just not going to play that game. But um, I think the head twists, it's just huge. <laughs> it's maybe one of the biggest ones I've ever seen. But it's super cute. I love that his pink stripe goes all the way back. Very cute little teddy bear situation. Now this guy is one of my favorite things to find because I think they're hysterical. This is a singamajig and he is a plush. I think it's Fisher Price if I'm not. No, this says Fun Rise. Yeah, okay, well, I'm not sure, but. <laughs> so this one has dying batteries, but they all have different voices and they all sing a song, except they're not using <laughs> real lyrics. They're using like noises. So, you know, you'll have like row, row, row your boat or like an easily recognizable childhood song. And they each have their own like tone of voice. And the last one that I had was the deepest voice I've ever heard in one. It was almost growly and it, I can't remember what the song was, but it was so funny. I was like in tears while I was playing with it. And then they each do something which you just heard um, when they're kind of shutting off. And so some of them will say bye bye or good night. And the one, <laughs> the one with the really deep voice said night, night. <laughs> and it was like almost a threat. Um, but I just think they're so funny and the songs that they sing are hysterical. If you've never played with one of these, I, I don't think they're being manufactured anymore. Um, but they're so funny. Some of them come with clothes on, um, but the best part is that they just have their own unique voices, and I think they're so funny. Um, so that is another video. I want to thank you for hanging out with me. I want to remind you to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Those help my channel quite a bit. Um, and I want to invite you to go out and find treasure. I'll see you again next time.